it's it's literally a 200 dollar artificial product segmentation that's all it is dude they don't bend them yeah dude no my kingpin 3090 is one of my worst bins dude one of my uh, one of my worst bins of my 3090 it was, it was one of my worst miners too it's just that it has all those voltage switches on it and shit for liquid nitrogen that's what it's there like 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 the kingpin and hall of fame cards are built with extra features to like bypass cold boot bugs and all that weird shit that like that the issues that come with extreme overclocking right but they're not gonna sit there and bin silicon for like a thousand cards they don't sell enough of them like you know what i mean they're not gonna bin that shit right now okay okay malik here's the here's the other okay here here i i would actually be okay with that 2500 dollar price tag if they guaranteed a certain level of bin be because the time it takes to bin does cost money right so like it like do you remember um you remember uh the initial batch of 3090 ti's how they had like the fucking felt markings on them so somebody somewhere was in an assembly line marking down clock speeds by hand on the dies right so somebody had to be paid for that labor to do that right so if they so if they actually did that for the kingpin cards and like this is the fucking clock speed that's guaranteed and they advertised it that way i'd be like okay because basically then you're buying uh, a ks right and then like the ks dude the 12900k here in canada is 700 the ks is 950 so that's like 50% more money for a fucking bin, right? So if they did the same thing with Hall of Fame and Kingpin and charged 50% more, I'd be like, yeah, okay. You either play the lottery or you buy the fucking Kingpin, right? The King Bin, right? But it's not, the, it's not like that though. The problem is they're charging fucking a thousand dollars more and you might get literally the worst bin you're still playing the lottery so yeah that's what i'm saying that's the biggest problem with those cards right i'm okay paying premiums for like that kind of shit that was the entire premise of silicon lottery right because because right the worst 3090s had trouble doing two gigahertz the worst ones like 2035 i've had some real fucking lemon 3090s right they mine great though but 2000 megahertz to 2200 is 10 percent. that's 10 percent fps that's a lot dude right to some people that 10 per that that guaranteed 10 percent is another product category right um just like the the 12900k binning video i did there like the god bin that i have is a whole different product category from how good it is right so binning is a thing right if but so but, they, but they're, not, they're not doing that shit though anyway that's my problem with the whole kingpin uh scenario right because they're not they're not guaranteeing what anything right no go go watch my um i already covered that topic dude go watch this video <laughs> what a good clickbait Wait, where is it here this one evga further win three ultra versus further win three black the black i go through all this in the video the black is the base model which was 1999 the further win 3 ultra is 2200 dollars 
this one is advertised as a higher boost clock it's a lower boost clock they don't bin them it's basically two hundred dollars for nothing it's not binned always buy the base model always 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 all that the the number that's advertised is what it's minimum <sighs> the number that it's advertised is what it's actually will boost to stock without any afterburner settings right that doesn't mean it's been better it means it has a different bios on it that's what it is if you take the further win 3 ultra bios and flash it on a black it will boost to 1950 instead of 1920. it's it's not you're paying 200 dollars for a bios is what you're doing right and then evga is actually even trickier about that shit they'll do this shit dude check this out they're really fucking sneaky with that shit so you have evga black 1999 um let's say this one says 1850 megahertz in the advertisement right this one says evga uh ultra 21.99 and then this one says like 1920 megahertz, right? Now, check this out. They, they released, um, if they will, they will release XOC BIOSes, right? XOC, right? Which usually increases the power limit. So they had one that went to like 540 watts or something like that, right? I can't remember what the exact number was, right? Now, these these bios updates are standalone updaters okay it will detect that you have a black and not let you flash it as a product segmentation feature but if you go on tech power up download the stock evga ultra bios flash that one with nv flash then run the standalone updater it will update and give you the extra power limit it's it's literally a 200 dollars artificial product segmentation that's all it is dude it's a scam it's a hundred percent and then the, the bin on this one is even better dude yeah it's a hundred percent a fucking scam it's a hundred percent it's all scam dude it's all fucking scam law of the base model that's it law of the cheapest model dude always 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 uh let me